So what happened to the Las Vegas real estate market for February 2020? Well, that's what I'm talking about today. And I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local Las Vegas realtor. And welcome to my monthly market update for March 2020. It is a beautiful day out. I am over here at the newest village um, in Summerlin called Stonebridge over at uh, Shadow Point, which is a Toll Brothers community. They have this nice overlook, so I like to come out here now and hang out. So happy that the weather is actually nice. I can enjoy it and make my videos outside again. <laughs> Got tired of making videos inside, so it's, it's good to be back outside again. So yeah, the Las Vegas market was actually kind of crazy for the month of February. And I have been predicting this for the last few months. If you've seen any of my other videos, I am not shocked about these numbers. Can you believe that after more than 13 years, Las Vegas house prices finally hit its pre-recession peak? It's crazy. <laughs> I can't believe it. Actually, I can't believe it because again, I've seen this trend happening. And as a good real estate agent, you can analyze the numbers and see what's going on with the market. But the median price still remains well below those of the boom days because of, of course, we gotta take into consideration inflation. And if we take into consideration inflation, that's about 400,000 where we would be at right now. So it's like roughly about $84,000 difference between the two. So we're nowhere near realistically that peak or whatever. So the medium sales price of previously owned single family homes reached 316,000 last month, which is $1,000 above the pre-recession record set in June 2006, up 3.6% from January and up 6.7% from the prior year, according to the Las Vegas Realtors formerly known as the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. As you can see on this chart that I provided, the medium sales price actually hit its rock bottom in January 2012, and it took us eight years to recover from the bottom, but it took us almost 14 years to bypass the pre-recession peak of 315,000. Las Vegas was the hardest hit metro area in the country, and it also has been harder for us to recover from that recession, more so than any other markets. February also had a big jump in sales with buyers grabbing 2,471 single family houses, up 8.2% from January and up 25.7% from February 2019. So I've been saying with very little inventory, what's gonna happen? The medium sales price is going to increase, which is going to cause another bubble. Um, as mentioned before, we have the demand, we just do not have the supply. So again, sellers, if you're thinking about selling, now is the time to sell. You don't even have to wait for April or May or June. Homes are selling fast. Southern Nevada also had a total number of 3,239 new listings for the month of February, up 4.6% from January, but still down 4.8% from the prior year. There was also a total number of 4,240 single family houses listed without offers at the end of February, down 13.6% from January and down 40.6% from the prior year. So this time last year, we were hovering around the 7,000 mark with homes without offers. So now we're in the 4,000 mark, meaning that we have low inventory. <laughs> Can't say it enough, right? I have a ton of buyers I'm working with and we just can't find the homes and we're starting to see again the whole bidding war aspect of things where a home that's super awesome, highly updated, is not on the market but for a couple of days and of course it has multiple offers. And getting into bidding wars is not fun, especially being a buyer and especially if you're competing with a buyer that is a cash buyer. We have quite a bit of cash buyers 
moving here from California. Um, so as a buyer, you may need to consider what your needs and wants are when buying a home. Does it have to be perfect? Does it have to be in the perfect location? If the answer is yes, then you may need to sit this one out. But the answer is there's a few things you can live without, then now's the time to buy. Especially with the interest rates being so low. And I guess maybe we can blame that on the coronavirus. I don't know. Hopefully with this virus, it's not going to tank the economy. I have a theory on that. I'm not much of a conspiracy theory person, but it just seems so quaint that the economy was doing so well, but then this coronavirus hits. Anyway, that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> and now there's only 1.7 months of housing supply on the market. And as I've mentioned before, months of supply is a good indicator if it's a seller's market or a buyer's market. So now that we're 1.7, it's a strong indicator that it is a seller's market. And 50.4% of the closings for the month of February was only on the market for 30 days or less. In January, this number was 46.8, and in February 2019, it was 48.2% of the homes were on the market for 30 days or less. So there's the numbers. I mean, I don't know what more I can say about them. It's pretty straightforward. I have been predicting this for the last three, four months, how our market is. And um, I don't know if we're going to be affected by the recession. You know, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, how Vegas was the hardest hit housing market in the country. Hopefully that won't be the case if we do have a recession, which I'm praying it doesn't. I think, you know, with the feds lowering the interest rates, that's a good indicator that they're trying to not make it happen. Maybe. I don't know. But as a buyer, you have other options and not just resell homes. You actually have the option of buying a brand new home. Take for instance, I'm here in uh, Stonebridge community in Summerlin, which has plenty of new homes to choose from. And then there's also Sky Canyon, Providence, uh, other areas of the city have new home builds that you could consider. Uh, one thing you may keep in mind though, is that some of the homes are not ready or they're not, um, there's no pre-existing homes. So you may have to wait nine to 12 months for it to be built. But the key takeaway on that is if you are thinking about buying a new home, you need to make sure that you have a real estate agent represent you on the very first visit. Uh, and that way they can ensure that the transaction is taken care of from beginning to end and your agent is absolutely free of charge. So why not have that representation? If you have any comments or concerns about how the Las Vegas real estate market is heading, leave a comment down below. I've also posted a link um, to the full report provided by the Las Vegas, what is it called? <laughs> Las Vegas Realtors. So I used to say in the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. I post a link to that. And if you're thinking about buying or selling a home here in Vegas, I've also posted another link down below in the description of about that as well about that as well as always if you like this video you know what to do hit that thumbs up button leave a comment down below share this with a friend and consider subscribing if you're interested in learning everything and anything about las vegas thanks so much for watching today and i hope to see you guys on the next one Damn, this weather is windy. Enjoying the weather while I can because tomorrow and actually the next couple of days it's going to be rainy. So hope you've enjoyed this market update. It's a beautiful day. Let me flip it around to show you where I'm at today. Ooh, the sun is like weird. <laughs> this is where I'm at today filming my famous video market update. <laughs> if you call it famous. And just a view. This is my new hangout because it's nice and quiet. I ditched Sun City. And this is again at Toll Brothers. New community called Shadow Point. It's a neat little fire pit that they have here. And just look at the views. Isn't this so serene? I want to live up here, seriously. It's beautiful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it.